Thank you for coming and helping and being here. Thank you, bro. You've been putting in the work in the kitchen and on the, on the stage. You, you set up the, the whole situation. All I did was talk. All I it's the fam. This is home. Follow me home. For the time we spent seems like it lasts forever. When we grow, we walk and witness all these different types of pleasure up the street. Lived in Oakland, so there's different types of weathering. You were unaware of issues, so you would smile whenever. CMS, born and raised. It just left. Generally, in a, an open mic, the eldest in the room is asked permission to speak. Yes. I'm the eldest in the room. <laughs> However, there is a youngest in the room, and I need to ask the mama's permission if it's okay to speak, because there's a youngest in the room. So, I'm deferring asking the eldest in the room for okay, uh, okay for, uh, uh, to speak to the mama or the youngest, because I got some words. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got some words. So. With that said, with that said, is this mic two? That is, uh, uh-oh. This is mic one. This is mic one. That is good. I have more respect for mic two, but it's good. <laughs> All right. We switched it up. So. All right. Um, this is a letter that I'm writing to the sorry-ass rappers who continue to produce garbage without thought and without effort. Yet they're placed on a pedestal by the record companies and radio stations, and their goal is to control you and me. Dear sorry-ass rappers, when you are preparing to pick up a microphone, I am requesting that you put in work. I'm requesting that you put in work like that third-world Asian girl in the sweatshop wearing a tank top, shorts, and flip-flops sewing the clothes and kicks that you wear on stage when you represent and share with the world the little time you spent writing and recording the sorry ass lines you spent. I stopped getting at you so hard, but I keep finding this. Flip the letters around in this and you'll know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Just like you're finding yourself in awe with the flawless timing and wait, well, you can quit. I'm not looking for the accolades nor the glory. Just pick up the mic and do what's right. Tell the world that you're sorry, you sorry ass rappers. I know you're confused as to where this is coming from and what it all really means. It's like, I'm confused and appalled by the so-called gangster rappers wearing pink outfits and skinny jeans, carrying man bags, ass out, sagging their pants with a belt tied around their knees, getting their hair done and wearing more makeup than San Francisco drag queens. Is it gangster or is it gay, sir? I'm sure you'd be on your way out of the closet if you thought for a second your fans wouldn't leave. Or the truth could simply be that you're soft because you're R&B, but your no-talent ass can't sing, you sorry-ass rappers. <laughs> It's not all your fault. The record companies are taking the art from the rap artist and leaving us with the rapists. You're saying no while the radio stations are saying, sing this and rap this and make this, Negro, take this. It's like we're caught up in a blend of history and movies, Roots versus The Matrix. Agent Smith played by Chicken George, making sure Kunta Kinte doesn't escape this. Meanwhile, I'm listening to you for free on the internet, wondering why did this brother make this? And we're being beat down by your jacked up lyrics in the boom boom pound, the jacked up lyrics in the boom boom pound, the jacked up lyrics in the boom boom pound, and we, you're wondering why we stay pissed. It's because you're pushing someone else's designs to control our minds. That's exactly why I hate listening to you sorry ass rappers. Sincerely, this is Sadiq. P.S. I'm not impressed and have little respect. That's why I'm coming after the best of you, lurking in the hallways, alleys, and vestibules. Cover up a man up, because I'll be checking you for testicles, and you can try to hide where you reside, and I'll be sitting there right next to you, sticking a knife in your eye while the groupies are having sex with you. It's so you can see the point I'm making. While the games you're playing is climaxing you, it's a metaphor for you to explore. Though I mean no disrespect to you, I stuck the pin in my heart. I set the pit in my chest and drew the blood from my heart. Yeah! Y'all can hear me without the mic, right? Yes.
I will not raise my son to be murdered, nor a martyr for this country. His beautiful, dark-skinned, black body will not lay on cold, cracked concrete. His blood dripping into earth, arms behind back, shackled in handcuffs, and has a bullet lodged in his back. And the smile that always reminded me of his father's would be gone. These mothers do not raise their sons to be martyrs. Do not carry them for nine months, do not birth them, do not nurse them, all for the purpose of waking you all up. To make you realize that each one of us is born with three eyes, and in this country, their skin resembles any shade of chocolate, coffee, or caramel. We weren't actually meant to survive. Our sons are going extinct. Did you care to notice? Did you feel it in your heart? Because I felt it in my heart as soon as that bullet entered his heart. It has never been normal for our children to be ripped away so gruesomely, so untimely, every day, in a way that my son won't be black. And that might as well mean target practice and death sentences. Like, how do I explain to him why I never want to catch him in a black hoodie? Why you better bring his butt home before it gets dark and forget what your teachers been told you? Because cherries and blueberries are meant to serve and protect you. How do I explain to him why I cringe every time I hear names like Oscar or Trayvon or Allen or Michael Brown? I'm a poor people to you. So ask me why I pray every 28 hours. How old does my child have to be if I wipe away all of his childhood dreams and tell him that he's never actually meant to survive in this country? So Mr. President, I'd like you to look my future son in the eyes and tell him the same thing that you said when Trayvon Martin died, that when black boys die in this country at the hand of the same person that you said he, the sa at him the same person that you said was supposed to protect him. You tell him that the law is the law and that justice was done. All I wanna do is make a change of law. All I wanna do is be free. All I wanna do is make a change of law. All I wanna do is be free. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. You are like a flower, many petals and layers. Concrete and belief, no time for naysayers. He jabbers more than a scarf, it's your way of life. Too bad detergent can't wash away strife. And with the mortgage of life, we stay in debt. Six threw me off. That I have to accept. Um and I'm not chicken when it comes to the truth. I hope your eyeliner is waterproof. Oh. I mean, that's, 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 <laughs> that was dope. That's like somebody just give you eight words and then you try to make a collaboration out of it. That's 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 yeah, it's not that's that's yeah. So yeah, it's like you know a little mental exercise. Yeah. So I got like five more of these, so I'll step up a little later. We gotta, we gotta For sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Up a new skill. We have chicken it's not a physical skill, it's more a skill you learn internally. It's a skill of listening, but not just listening, listening firmly. I want you all to close your eyes. Listen. You hear that? No, listen closer. Keep your eyes closed and listen to what I'm going to say. I want you to listen to see. Focus on my words and not my physical me. Y'all ready? Yes. Bang, bang, shots fired. Do they not care? Bang, bang, shots again. What have we done now is so unfair. Stolen, dragged here, ancestors crying, screaming, welling in despair. Babies taken to be sold, snatched from their mother's arms. Men watching their women being raped in ruins, their homes in abandoned barns. Our children forced to be playmates for the white child. So we are nothing but animals born to be wild. Mimicking us in reality in cartoon shows. Black people degraded dignity ripped from our souls. What are you doing, boy? Disrespecting our strong black men. What you said, man, so I'm tired, I'm moving, I'm trying hard as I can. Rip, rip, rip. Can you hear it now? Yeah, let that sound sink in. 
Never look her in the eyes and keep your head down with the instructions given from the strong black mother. Little black girls, seven white families, grandmas, grandpas, moms, dads, sisters, and brothers. Power to the people. We are one. We've been used and abused worse than old shoe scum. I was born in 1997, 132 years after slavery was over. My generation has got it a lot easier than my fallen African soldiers. My baby Tahir is one year old, and I'd be damned if someone tried to take him for me to be sold. But the reality sets in, and I realize there would be nothing I could do. They could shoot my baby down, and I would be sitting there looking like the fool. That's my baby, my precious baby boy. Before being born, being told he won't be nothing but society's little toy. You're nothing without us. Everything came from we. I am my black people and my black people are me. Leave us alone. Please, let us be. Let us raise him with our children without fear. Let us live in harmony. America. Y'all see now on me. Ready? One, two, three. America. We haven't forgot the promise you made after centuries of us plowing fields and slipping on hay cuts. Where is what you promised us? Where is our 40 acres and a mule? Oh, did you think we'd forget? Continue to try to play us for idiots and fools. This is a powerful month. This month is about us. About our struggles, our success, our leaders. About the day that changed segregated water fountains and us sitting in the back of a bus. This month is a reminder of what we fought so hard to have, what Nelson X and King died for, the start of our new profound path. We are more than the people. We are a nation of one. So let's not take for granted where we've came and what we've overcome. We are a people. Power to the people. You are my people. Now listen to me. I love you, beautiful black people. I love you, beautiful black people. I love you, beautiful. Black people, thank you. Yeah! yeah. So I got, I got a song for that. Uh, it's the place. Got the remedy. If it was more people, I would not be doing this. But you know, uh, I wrote this after like I don't know if all of y'all heard, but like she wasn't really a close friend to me, but like I was affected by it because of the people around me. And just her death period, it kind of just like, it got to me. Because it was a person I like usually saw like over social media, just at different places. So like, I just kind of, I felt the need to write this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Constantly 
be taking up, it's hard for me to say these lines. It's even harder to leave memories of you behind. Every day it's always cloudy, sun don't never shine. Tears dropping, fear and anger running through my spine. Couldn't help but feeling like I should commit a crime. But then I thought to myself, maybe this is a sign. Maybe it's a sign telling me to cool to take another person out this world. Man, that's just crazy. You shine your light on me, telling my ass to pack the stupid. But all I think about is, oh God, why did you do this? And even though I feel I'm out of place and all alone, I keep my head up and chin high, I'm staying strong. Rest in peace to all my angels, man, y'all really gone. This world is really messed up, damn, I hope y'all found a better, huh? As far as time, um, we have so much more time left. I'm, I, I yo, we did this. We did this. We fed people. We performed. We got. We 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 passing it down the line. You know, got you passing it up the line, down the line. You feel me? That was. It's beautiful. We uh. Crown my soul. You have a foundation. <laughs> yes, yes.